So the, the research shows ultimately that if you take the entire body of evidence on employment effects of minimum wages, it's quite clear that minimum wages do cause some job loss among least skilled workers. There's been claims to the contrary, both in the policy world and in, in, uh, in academic writing. Uh, and I think if, if this research study does one thing, it, it kind of refutes those claims and says, no, while there are outliers, pretty clear body of evidence that, that there's some job loss caused by the minimum wage. Even if there are disemployment effects, uh, it's not the central policy question. One could imagine a situation where a minimum wage increase costs some workers some jobs somewhere, uh, but delivered a lot of benefits. For example, you know, being sort of just to give you an extreme example of, you know, if 10 workers lost their jobs uh, and 1,000 families were lifted out of poverty, we'd probably say that's a pretty good trade-off. Right? Every government regulation probably costs somebody somewhere a job. doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. It means we should think about the trade-offs.